this particular Sunday, it became something that was very, very difficult. Everything changed. When a group of soldiers and Storm and all everyone in our congregation to lay down, we dropped for about three, four hours, and the truck stopped. So we walk and we walk, and they unload us in this, in this prison. It's a hut, basically a, like an African hut. Com uh, one commander came in and said, why are we keeping these kids out here? Let's train the one strong enough so they, they separate the weak ones from the one at least they can go to the front line. They went out, they went training, they ran around, and then they came back. They said, Lopepe, we are going to see, you are going to see your mother again. They didn't tell me the details, how we're gonna go see my mother. So we slept together. They put me right in the middle of them, between them. So I slept. In the middle of the night, they woke up, they picked me up. We ran and ran, all of a sudden, we get arrested by uniformed men with the weapons. But they were very happy, they were very good people. This is where we, it became our home. We, we heard about something about Olympics. So we got around, operated by a car battery, and I sat down and I watched this amazing TV. So, and the, and the race was going on, it was 400 meters, Michael Johnson was running. And I was like, this is what I want to do. I want to run like this man. A year, a year later, we, have, we always go to our church. A year later, the U United States uh, person came in and announced the United States government won 3,500 lost boys, which was us, to go to resettle in the United States. After the church, they called my name. And I went back, I, I picked up an envelope. I was the lucky one, was chosen to go to the US. So I arrived in, in, in the US, my family was out there waiting for me. And so we, we drove, we went home. It's just incredible. And they, they, they showed me everything that you can think of in the world. So, from that point, this is where my journey happens because I really, really wanted to go to Olympics. And my, my cross-country coach came over with a nice jacket and told me, I heard you want to run 30 kilometers. Why don't you join my team so that you can be able to go to Olympics? And we, I, I run cross-country and I really enjoy, enjoy it. I enjoy it so much because it was something that we do it as a family. We win together and we run together. So, and from that point, I, I, I told my coach, I, I, wanna, I, wanna, I wanna go to Olympics and say, let's work hard and, and to get Olympics, to go to Olympics. Yeah.